Hi everyone, today I want to talk about Phalaenopsis orchids and how to save them from dying in different stages. Um, in front of us there are lots of uh, orchids uh, but they are mm, in different stages of dying and what we need to do in this kind of situation I want to talk uh, about them uh, because most of you are asking questions in the comments how to save this kind of or that kind of orchid and I, I have examples in front of me um, to show you if you have this kind of orchids you can learn from this video and save your orchid uh, the first orchid is this one I want to talk about this orchid when I bought this orchid from Lowe's um, this orchid uh, had here one leaf which was yellow from the bees uh, close to the stem it was yellow I thought that this orchid was nutrition uh, nutrition deficient orchid but uh, I, I was wrong when I brought it home after three or four days this leaf started decaying from the base from here and I what I did <coughs> I put it under the fan I wanted to see if the rotting will stop but it didn't stop then I removed that uh, leaf like this what do you do uh, if you try to cut or uh, to try to remove the leaf uh, from here you can damage the stem and this uh, part the top part you can pull it you can break it that's why to avoid this you need to do um, you need to do uh, this you take the leaf from here and you start tearing it to both sides like this and let me show you from the uh, if I find one dying leaf I will show you okay let's take this leaf this is leaf uh, imagine that this is orchid leaf and you pull it this way this way and when it comes to the base it goes you know to different sides like this and you can easily pull it leaf this leaf from here like this you know and you take it out and what you do what i did i will tell you i didn't apply any cinnamon here because i tried a couple times cinnamon on my orchids but orchids i don't know somehow my orchids didn't love cinnamon that's why i didn't apply any cinnamon any um uh, some you know the uh, potassium permanganate or uh, hydrogen peroxide I didn't apply anything I just pulled this uh, leaf out I took it out and I put it under the fan and I let it dry completely as you see now this um, this place this place is dry and it's not any more dangerous for this orchid You see, it's completely dry. I thought that the that leaf um, damaged the rest of the leaves, but it didn't. If you see this kind of um, picture on your orchid, you can immediately pull that, uh, take that leaf out and help your orchid. And that way you can stop death of this orchid. You see, it's dry and if I don't put any water here, this orchid will continue growing. And it was two months ago. Now you see this orchid is still alive. This is first situation um, where you can um, help your orchid. And this one <coughs> is second orchid. Um, this orchid was mini orchid and it was planted in um, plastic black pot which where you cannot see the roots how they are developing or how they are uh, growing or if they are dying you cannot see anything there and this orchid was in that kind of plastic pot there were two of them 
uh, same orchids in one pot. And this was, um, this orchid was dying in that pot. I didn't see. And when I noticed that the leaves are uh, falling, uh, w when they were falling, I, s I noticed that something wrong with this orchid. When I checked, I saw that all the roots were decaying and it, the decaying, it went even up to the stem. And this orchid was with decaying roots and decaying stem. I cleaned this orchid with hydrogen, uh, not hydrogen peroxide. I used uh, potassium permanganate. I washed it thoroughly and I let it dry under the fan. I put it on this table and after some time when it was completely dry, I put it in this uh, plastic container. I put it here, I put here um, sphagnum moss and I placed my orchid on top of the moss. Whenever I saw that the moss is dry, I sprayed water and on top I put the plastic bag which had holes. It was, it, that bag was from bread. And see, I even put the date, it was uh, on February 27th this year, at the beginning of this year. And after, now it's in December, it means it was 10 months ago. Yeah. Now you see this orchid. Uh, I showed you this orchid uh, in my video. If you want to learn how to save this kind of orchid, which doesn't have any roots and decaying stem, uh, only few uh, two leaves. It they were two leaves in this orchid. This orchid had two leaves only, and I put it in this sphagnum moss. If you learn, you have this kind of orchid. You need to watch that video and you can save that way your orchid and now you see i chose this uh, way of planting for this orchid because it had small roots and um i'm i you know i chose this method because i'm very bu busy lady i study and i have five kids i have small kids and i don't have time to uh, keep my eye on this orchid all the time that's why i chose this way you can plant it in in any way which you like but you need to uh, keep your eye what's going on with these roots because uh, these roots used to be um in this on, on top of the sphagnum moss and they grew on the air uh, they didn't touch the um, you know they were not in the medium and they were on top of the sphagnum moss and that way this orchid grew its roots and now you see it has roots that uh, uh, it when I was planting this orchid, I I don't remember. It has five six roots, and that roots grown. Uh, you see, they are long now, and even after I planted it in this cola bottle, you see that those roots. They are growing now. They are going to towards the water. They search where uh, they can. Um, take moisture and that way the roots will grow and see all of them are live and see these roots they are growing also and here I have even new growing roots see this um, here I have new roots growing with fresh tip green light green tip it means these roots are new and here I have some growing roots. See, I I see that uh, this orchid loved this way of planting. And after I planted this orchid in this uh, cola bottle, it dropped its uh, old uh, leaf. It had this kind of leaves, two of them. And this is uh, one of the old leaves and all the rest are new leaves it means it grew one two three four five new leaves you see this orchid is happy when it was in this uh, uh, in this container it already started growing this 
leaf and five six roots and the second leaf it was just showing when I was when I planted it in this cola bottle and the second leaf see it's a little bit bigger than the previous one than the first one see the first one is small because in the container it didn't get any food I just sprayed water on top of the sphagnum moss from that water um, it took whatever it wants and it grew this weak leaf see and the rest of the leaves are bigger see that's the second leaf and this is third leaf it's bigger and this is fourth leaf and now it's growing fifth leaf and they are all good <coughs> And whenever I see that water is uh, low, I add water, and now it doesn't need to uh, that I I don't need to put here any water because the water is still here, and when it goes down, I put some water. This is second uh, kind of orchid, uh, which you can help without roots and with decaying stem. It was smelling very bad when I was placing it in this uh, container. And this is um, third orchid. This orchid um, I showed you already. Uh, I think it was in the video um, where the roots, orchid roots grow faster in water culture or in um, sphagnum moss. In that video, I showed you this orchid this orchid <coughs> i showed you two big orchids i had um um you know with the, that those orchids i had problem they didn't have any roots one of them had one root uh, and i placed it in this container uh, with sphagnum moss and this one didn't have any roots and they both uh, started growing roots in one week the, that orchid started growing new roots after months after one month but these orchids uh, started growing new roots in one week because it depends what kind of orchid you have if you have strong orchid with strong leaves like this you know and big orchid they have lots of energy and from that energy, they can grow uh, roots, strong roots, uh, more faster, and they can grow lots of roots. And this orchid was stronger than that one. That is, that one is mini orchid, and it had only uh, two leaves. But th those leaves were strong too. But it's small orchid, and it took time. Even uh, you know, I had stem rot there and that's why it grew uh, it started growing new roots after months but this orchid it acted different totally different it started growing new roots in one week that's uh, see and i chose when um when i saw this uh, root uh, it in this um, in this plastic container it grew two new roots and I decided to plant it in here, but the, the second one, which I placed uh, in this container with this orchid, the second one had one root, but that root started molding, it started decaying in the, uh, in the plastic container, and I, from that I made, uh, I took my lesson, and I told you, if the orchid has only one root, it's better to plant it in this way than to place it in the uh, greenhouse because it has still roots and it can take through that root, it can take everything what it needs from the medium. And it's it was my mistake that I placed that orchid uh, in the plastic container in order to grow new roots it was my mistake if i knew that time that i need to plant in this way i would plant it in the cola bottle instead of placing it in the container this orchid see when i was um, 
planting this orchid in this uh, cola bottle, it had two roots. And from that two roots, one is decayed here. You see this root, the tip of the root, you can see this yellow thing is root. That root immediately decayed in this, uh, you know, in, the, in this uh, medium. And the, the other root, see, it started growing and now it's it's touching the bottom of this cola bottle and it's going to the water and what you can think that orchid roots cannot be in the water all the time but they can be if uh, these roots uh, grown are grown in this medium and they go by themselves to the water they can stay for uh, you know they can stay here in the water all the time and they grow they can grow in the water if you place uh, for example um uh, you are growing your orchid in sphagnum moss or in the bark medium and you place these roots you know in the in the water that roots will not survive that roots will decay because they are not used to be in the water that's why this orchid roots you know it was sh uh, short and it uh, searched the water and it grow by itself nobody put it in the water it grow by itself and that's why it's still alive um, because it uh, you know this environment is its environment it grew in this environment that's why it's growing and this all the roots they grow after i planted this orchid in this medium um, which is i call it water culture and medium mixture planting you know this is here you can see both of them here water his medium all the time they're together and these roots grow in this uh, medium and as you see it has lots of lots of roots strong and long roots what i am doing now <coughs> because i don't have time to take care of the air roots um, sometimes i come and i uh, place these roots i uh, you know to in the in the medium like this and this root at you see you see it's already uh, in the medium it it's going down and the rest of the roots i am teaching them how you know to be in the medium and i placed them also they were like this and i placed them uh, in the medium and now they are growing towards the medium and they will go down later on maybe i will um, plant it in bark medium and i will take care of this orchid as normal orchids like my other orchids which are sitting on the windowsill here um, i maybe i will plant this orchid later on um in that kind of um planting i will i will use that kind of planting and this is third problem this orchid didn't have any decaying stem it didn't have only roots that's why i placed it in the greenhouse also and this is a third one third problem and the the fourth problem you can have this kind of picture uh, your orchid stopped growing from the top but it doesn't have any decaying stuff uh, it's healthy but it somehow it uh, doesn't want to grow and this leaf was closed like this I showed you in my previous one in one of my previous videos and then I opened this leaf I wanted to see what's going on inside if there is new leaf growing or something and I forced this leaf and open it somebody in the comments asked me why the back of the baby uh, orchid is purple now uh, you know when it was growing when it was just a baby when it was small it had uh, purple leaves back of the leaves were purple and i thought probably this orchid uh, would bloom with purple f uh, flowers and see now it's green it's turning green 
and uh, this baby is big enough to be independent i can separate this baby from the mother leaf you see it has three roots one two three roots and this orchid this baby orchid can be independent now you see it's the size of my hand you see it's big enough to be independent and i can separate this orchid from the mother leaf now <coughs> uh, i will show you other pictures you can have this kind of orchid um, which which is decayed from the top you see i lost uh, the top it's not me that i lost it i found this orchid all of these orchids from the trash and some of them were this kind of orchids uh, that were decaying from the top and some of them were with one leaf some of them were bare root you know they they had only roots and they didn't have top some of them were uh, with fungus infection with bacterial infection and all of them i can say all of them were with mealybugs and you know um here is the same example you see this is uh, orchid which lost its top and i'm uh, taking care of this orchid uh, how i take care of normal orchids i take care of this orchid like that whenever i feed my orchids i feed this orchid too and now you see it grew its baby and that baby has only one i see one and two roots here if you can see here is a second root here i don't know if you can see or not but it has two roots here under the spike yes now you can see it has two roots and even it started growing this spike you see how this orchid is thanking me and thank you too that you know you know uh, how i am taking care of you see he from here you can see that second root new baby root yeah now it's growing and it's making my eyes happy and this orchid is same this orchid had it lost its top you see it doesn't have any top when i found it from trash i when I, we were in florida in the hotel i saw that this orchid was smelling so bad and it had bacterial infection the rest of the leaf it was uh, smelling bad and it was soft you know mushy and i cut this leaf half of the leaf i cut it i didn't take out this, the whole leaf because the rest of the leaf is live uh, if you see some infection on the tip of the leaf you don't need to remove the whole leaf you can cut just that part and that disease will not spread uh, you know toward the uh, healthy part and that way i acted with this leaf i cut it uh, from here and the rest i throw away and it was decaying from the sander from here and i cleaned with paper towel i put um paper towel inside with tooth toothpick and i cut it with tip of the knife as much as i could i took all the mushy stuff from here and i um, put some hydrogen peroxide and I cleaned with paper towel again. I put again hydrogen peroxide until it stopped smelling. And that way I saved the life of this orchid. And it grew for me this baby, see? And this baby has new root. It means, um, I, will, I will tell you other things too. When they grow babies, you know, uh, it has here new, growing root too in here but you cannot see i think yeah this small thing this one yeah this is new root 
and uh, you know this um, orchid now as you see it's blooming for me isn't it beautiful see it's gorgeous it's tiny but later on these blooms will get bigger this is first bloom that's why it's smaller now i see from my orchids um as or orchid if they are old they have lots of blooms and they have big blooms big flowers uh, when they are small when they are just uh, you know they started blooming they have this kind of small uh, flowers and they have few of them even it's five but it's making me happy see this orchid it uh, grew this baby in short time and it's almost uh, you know it's size of its mom and I see that orchids uh, when they have even one leaf uh, when the mother plant is still alive they grow better than the orphan ones I call this ones orphans because they don't have any support this mom helps this orchid to grow faster and even you see it bloomed and you see here i have other orchid which is stopped growing it didn't decay from the center but it stopped growing and if you don't like this kind of orchid don't throw away it will grow baby as this one and this baby has roots too new roots and you can have different uh, new orchid from this kind of orchid don't throw away this kind of orchids too they will grow babies and this baby is taking energy if this mom is helping to grow this baby because we are moms and we always help our kids to to be you know to how to live in this life and here i have uh, orchid with one leaf with one leaf but this baby it didn't grow any uh, no it grew also i see no it didn't grow it doesn't have any uh, roots you see and uh, this mom is helping this baby to grow but this baby is not independent yet if something will happen if these roots will decay or this leaf will fall um uh, this orchid it will have hard time to survive this orchid can still you know survive but this one cannot I will show you the difference even we save our orchids uh, when they grow babies you know sometimes they these babies cannot survive it happened with my orchids here i will show you okay let me talk first about this orchid this orchid see it's it doesn't have any roots but it's uh, still it's strong if i if something will happen with mother plant if mother plant has decaying roots or something can happen anytime if i put this orchid in the greenhouse in the in, the, in this kind of greenhouse i don't have greenhouse real greenhouse i when i talk about greenhouse you need to understand that i use plastic uh, container as a greenhouse if i place this orchid in the greenhouse or i can use cola bottle <coughs> to place my uh, baby orchid and in the bottom i can uh, use uh, sphagnum moss to hold the moisture that way i uh, i can put this orchid if something will happen i will put this orchid uh, to root in the greenhouse and see here i have i have other example um my orchids uh, some of them they uh, didn't have any leaves any leaves and they grew from the but they had strong roots live green roots and they grew this uh you know these babies as you see they grew these babies 